What's up YouTube and welcome back to some more golf with your friends. This is museum classic mode under par for the achievement or trophy and right here on hole one we're just going to go straight forward and we want to go about two bars not two and a quarter like I did or you'll bounce over the hole so just go two bars and I just want to point out that this game is getting updated frequently so some of these shots may change or may not work in the future but this video should still give you an idea of what you need to do to get under par. For hole number two, we want to go about two and a quarter bar to get to the other side. And we'll end up going over this bridge and we'll end up right on the opposite side of it. And I know this next shot can be a little bit difficult to see, but we're aiming a little bit to the right from center. And essentially we just want to make it down to the flag. So we're going to go about a bar and a quarter. And you can use the little checkers on the ground, the pattern, in order to figure out where I'm aiming. Hole number three, we want to bounce off the left side wall and we're going to go just a little under three full bars and we'll go right into the hole for a hole in one. Hole number four for our first shot, we're going to go off the right side of this funnel and we're trying to go down the left funnel over here in one shot. So you're going to want to aim a little bit further to the right than me, but use the exact same power, which was just a squeeze under three full bars. And you should already be down here with your first shot, but if not, just follow along to where I'm going. And then all you need to do is bounce off these sidewalls and raid into the hole. Hole number five requires some timing, so you're going to want to go full power and just straight ahead and hopefully you would actually make that ramp spawn, but I was unlucky and didn't do so, so I ended up down here. And then I'm just going to go full power off that right side wall and you'll see that I went over the hole, so maybe a little bit less than full power to go straight into the hole, but either way, a birdie. So this hole, hole number six, I had a little bit of difficulty with, but the idea here is that we're going to want to use a little bit extra power than what I did to end up just past this tooth and over at the next hill. So I'm going to get there on this shot instead. And once you get over to this area right here, you're pretty much shooting for the hole. I would recommend going like a squeeze under full power in order to not fly over the hole like I just did, but otherwise you'll have an easy tap in. Hole number seven is actually pretty simple. You want to make sure that you don't hit any of the glowing floating boxes that create walls. So you want to just avoid all of those. Go to the left of this egg right here and you'll come out right next to this egg and with a clear shot to the hole as long as again you don't hit any of the little blocks. For hole number eight, you're going to actually want to go full power, but aim to the right side of the course rather than straight down the middle like I did. So I end up down in this back corner here. If you want, I mean, you could just follow along with what I'm doing since I'm going to get a par on this hole anyways, but you should be able to get a pretty easy birdie because you'll end up somewhere over here off of your first shot, and then you should end up right next to the hole, if not going straight into the hole on your second shot. Hole number nine requires the right timing. We're going to go just under three bars and we want to end up right over here as that piston fires. We'll go through a block which will light up all of these areas and make it so that we have an easy shot for a hole in two. This shot is silly, but it works pretty much every time. What we're going to do is we're going to look to the left and we want to go just a squeeze above three power and we'll end up jumping the wall here and coming down the stairs for an easy second shot on the hole.
hole number 11, you're going to want to aim just a little bit right of center and go full power rather than what I'm doing here so that you'll make it over that little wall that I clipped and you'll end up right next to the hole for an easy hole in two. Otherwise, you'll have to do the long way like I'm doing on video right now. Hole number 12, you're going to need to time this. You want to aim where I'm aiming, but use a little bit more power than I used in order to get past this wall and around. So I'm going to take a couple extra shots to get to where you should end up, but you should come around here off of this one and actually end up a little bit more center than what I am right now. So we're going to move on over to there so that now we are center with where we're trying to go. And now we just need to time it so that we make it up the hill and catch the little air elevator all the way up to the hole, unlike what I did right there where I just bounced off. So I used a little bit too much power on that shot, but we'll get it from here. And it's pretty easy from here, you just gotta go right into the hole. Hole 13 is really simple. We're just going to go full power, a little bit right of center, and we'll end up right down here. And then from here, we're just going to go two more bars, pretty much straight forward again, so that we end up on the left side of the course here. And then we're just going to follow this hump with about two power to get over into the sand, which will slow us down and stop us right next to the hole, and our fourth shot can easily go right in. For hole number 14, we're just going to follow the water here, and it doesn't really matter what power you use, as the water is going to correct you anyways, and we're just going to ride it all the way to the end here until we get back up onto the course. Now from here, you're probably going to want to use a little bit less power than I do so that you don't overshoot the ramp like I just did. But either way, you'll either be lined up with the ramp and get an easy eagle, or you can just simply line yourself up like I'm doing right now and get an easy birdie. For hole number 15, we want to line up just a little bit left to center. We're going to do three power and right off this slate and up to this next area. And then from here, we want to go a little bit less than two power in order to fall down to this area. Now from here, we're just pretty much playing the course pretty normally so that we can get a birdie or a par, depending on if you messed up your first shot off of that slate, which can be a little bit difficult to line up and get correct the first time. So anyways, just keep on following along as you go over these different hills. And then on this last shot here, you want to line up pretty much where I am. We're going to go about a bar and a half of power, bounce off that barrier, and straight into the hole. Our first shot here is pretty simple. We're just going full power and we want to time it right so that we hit the block and end up going off of the ramp. And then we'll end up right back here. And from here, we're going to do a basically the exact same shot, except you should do three power rather than full bars. As you can see, I fell off instead of stopping up there next to the flag. If you do fall off down here, then it's completely okay. You can go about two and a half bars in order to get right into the hole. For our first shot on hole 17, you're going to want to go a little bit under two bars actually. I hit it too hard and I ended up past where I needed to be, so I'm going to have to take a second shot to line us up here. But that first shot, you should go a little bit under two bars. Then from here, you should be somewhere along this area and you want to aim towards this side wall, another two bars, or rather a bar and a quarter. And then from here, we're going to line up so that we're straight with the hole. And then we just got to put it in.
Now this final hole, I apologize, but uh, I admit defeat on this one. I really, I just cannot figure out how to do this hole in anything less than like 10 shots. But anyways, what you're trying to do here is you're trying to make it to the top of this pyramid. And I just, I can't figure out for the life of me how to do it in a good way. So you can enjoy me completely messing up this entire hole, but honestly at this point it doesn't matter at all. You can get a 14 on this for all you care. You'll still end up finishing with under par as long as you followed along with the rest of the guide and you should get your achievement or trophy for doing so. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. If it did, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more achievement, trophy, and collectible guides as well as more golf with your friends as I'm doing all of the courses under par for the achievements or trophies. And also feel free to check out my Fortnite challenge guides on the channel if you're into that game. Until tomorrow, ta -ra.